Hi, Cora. Hi, Henry. Hi, Bonnie. There's something different about this book that we're going to read. You probably think, what is this book? I can't even see it. Well, I thought it would be fun to read by the light of these pretty little branches because they're one of my favorite things to have around at this time of year. However, tell me, can you really see the book very well? I didn't think so. I can't either. So I'm going to say, come with me to turn on the light or ooh, wait. I guess you could stay there. I have an idea. I was going to have you go all the way over to the other side of the room while I turned on the light. But instead, you can just watch this. I'll use it as a flashlight. Don't get scared. I'll be right back. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. Well, thank you, lights. You did your job. Well, maybe I'll put them right there for now. Oh. I have an idea. So what do you think of that? <laughs> All right. Let's get down to business. I would like to read to you this book called Before Morning by Joyce Sidman and Beth Crombs. This looks like a little town. That's the um, inside page, not part of the story yet. Before morning. Wow, they're in a city, I guess. There's a lot going on. This book has no words. <laughs> okay, so what an easy book to read. It's called Before Morning, and I think all you guys need to do is look at the cool pictures. Is the light okay? I hope it's not too glary. Mmm, I like cupcakes. This is the kind of book that you make up your own story by looking at what's happening in the pictures. But here are some words. In the deep woolen dark. As we slumber, unknowing. Let the sky fill with flurry and flight.
let the air turn to feathers. The earth turned to sugar. You see that carriage? And all that is heavy turn light. Let quick things, let quick things be swaddled. Do you know what swaddled means? It means wrapped up, wrapped up tight, like in a blanket. Do you see any people who are being swaddled? Or maybe even a swaddled doggy? Let quick things be swaddled. Let urgent plans founder. Let pathways be hidden from sight. Please, please, just this once. Change the world before morning. Make it slow. And delightful. and white.
And this is the end. This sounds like it's a little more adult, but I'm going to read it to you anyway. Who knows? On wishes and invocations, how powerful are words? Can they make things happen? Stop them from happening? Can they protect us, comfort us, enchant us? This book is written in the form of an invocation, a poem that invites something to happen, often asking for help or support. Humans have been using invocations for thousands of years to soothe the body and strengthen the soul. Do they work? Maybe. Maybe speaking something out loud is the first step toward making it happen. What is it that you wish for? Find the best words for that wish and speak them aloud. Maybe in the deep woolen dark, snowflakes will begin to fall.